Item number, SCP-694, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. The neighborhood that SCP-694 occupies has been evacuated with a cover story of industrial contamination and is to be kept sealed off. Homes have been purchased from their residents and used for the establishment of observation sites known as Site-48 Extension Security Post-694. All routes that lead to the chase between SCP-694-1 and SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4 have been closed off, with personnel stationed to reroute drivers away from the anomaly. MTF Zeta-10, Time Travelers, are to stand guard and provide assistance to have public awareness of SCP-694 removed. Any deviations from the standard SCP-694 script are to be reported to the site supervisor. Description SCP-694 is an externally observable time loop that has been cycling every 38 minutes since November 23, 2004, in the town of Vermont. SCP-694 contains the events of an attempted kidnapping and armed pursuit, followed by a car crash in a ravine alongside road. SCP-694 occupies four spherical regions of space, each of which is approximately five meters in diameter and centered on one of the four participants in the loop. SCP-694-1, 2, 3, and 4, as they repeat their original trajectory, beginning at the residence of SCP-694-1 and 2 and terminating at the bottom of the ravine, alongside the road. Although personnel have been able to enter SCP-694 and add and remove objects, there is as of yet no known way to affect the events of the loop. See experiment log for details. Loop participants do not respond to non-loop stimuli, e.g. the presence of Foundation personnel, either as observers or experimenters, and can be assumed to be unaware of any and all non-loop events. When forcibly removed from the space within the loop, participants will continue to repeat the actions of the loop to the extent that is physically possible and will die when the loop reaches its terminus. Autopsies have thus far not indicated any identifiable cause of death. Participants in SCP-694 SCP-694-1 Identified as local resident Alexander Lang, aged 52, Caucasian, Listed as widowed, with no immediate family apart from SCP-694-2. No records have been found of SCP-694-1's existence prior to his arrival in Vermont. 1999. SCP-694-2. Identified as local resident Philip Lang, aged 6. Mixed race. Son of SCP-694-1. Mother unidentified. No records have been found of SCP-694-2's existence prior to his arrival in Vermont. 1999 SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4 Unidentified kidnappers Both Caucasian males Wielding empty handguns Reported stolen November 15, 2004 Note Although SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4 refer to each other as Jake and Elwood, these are believed to be pseudonyms, as Jake and Elwood are the names of the protagonists of the 1980 film The Blues Brothers. SCP-694 Event Events within SCP-694 Time Index 0 minutes 0 seconds to 3 minutes SCP-694-1 emerges from his residence and watches SCP-694-2 play with various toys on the front lawn for three minutes. He then tells SCP-694-2 to put away the toys so that they may go to the supermarket. Time Index 3 minutes to 6 minutes 30 seconds SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4's vehicle, a 2002 Dodge minivan, black, reported stolen November 20, 2004, bearing the license plate of a 1999 Volkswagen Jetta, reported stolen November 21, 2004.
pulls into SCP-694-1's driveway. SCP-694-3 and 4 emerge from the minivan and hold SCP-694-1 and 2 at gunpoint. SCP-694-3 ties up SCP-694-2 and forces him into the back seat of the vehicle. Meanwhile, SCP-694-4 ties up SCP-694-1, then takes SCP-694-1's cell phone and crushes it underfoot. SCP-694-3 and 4 then drive away, with 2 as their prisoner. Time Index 7 minutes to 19 minutes SCP-694-1 struggles to his feet, then hops into his garage and knocks down a hacksaw. He rubs against the blade so as to cut the ropes holding him. Once he has freed himself, he takes a pistol from a tackle box. Meanwhile, SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4 drive around in the neighborhood, but become lost. Notably, although the kidnapper's dialogue at this point seems to indicate that they are encountering multiple spatial anomalies, no such anomalies have been observed by Foundation personnel. Rather, the kidnapper's vehicle abruptly changes direction on several occasions and drives through multiple non-road areas, including a school playground, a farmer's market, and a public park. Time Index 19 minutes to 20 minutes SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4 drive past SCP-694-1's home just as SCP-694-1 is emerging from the garage and loading his pistol. SCP-694-1, SCP-694-3, and SCP-694-4 recognize each other. SCP-694-1 opens fire on SCP-694-3 and 4's minivan, then gets into his car and drives after them as they flee. Time Index 20 minutes to 27 minutes SCP-694-1 pursues SCP-694-3 and 4, firing at them repeatedly. Analysis of SCP-694-3 and 4's dialogue during this stage indicates that they are no longer consulting the map. Instead, they are driving down random streets in an attempt to escape SCP-694-1. Time Index 27 minutes to 27.45 As the pursuit continues along the road, SCP-694-1 shoots out the minivan's left rear tire just as the minivan is driving over a patch of ice. The minivan spins out of control, goes through the guardrail, and falls over the ledge and into the ravine. SCP-694-2, SCP-694-3, and SCP-694-4 are killed in the fall. Time Index 27 minutes and 45 seconds to 34 minutes. SCP-694-1 parks his car, gets out, and climbs to the bottom of the ravine. Once he has reached the wreckage of the minivan, he pulls open the driver's side door and shoots the bodies of SCP-694-3 and SCP-694-4 in the head, once each. SCP-694-1 then carefully extracts the body of SCP-694-2 from the wreckage and examines the body for signs of life while weeping. SCP-694-1 then pulls a notepad out of his back pocket, draws an intricate pattern on its cardboard backing with a stick of chalk, and speaks to the pattern. Transcript of scp 694 speech It's me. I want a repeat of the last 38 minutes. No, a full repeat. You heard me. Well, make it happen, damn it. Exactly like it just was. You fing owe me, and my boy is dead. Several seconds pass. Good. This apparent conversation finishes at time index 37 minutes 15 seconds. SCP 694 1 sighs, puts the notepad in his pocket, and begins reloading his pistol. At time index 3750, he speaks the phrase, All right, you sons of here we go, then counts down the remaining five seconds. At time index 38 minutes, SCP 694 1, SCP 694 2, SCP 694 3, and SCP-694-4 all dematerialize, as do both vehicles, and all bullets fired by SCP-694-1. 
The chalk on cardboard designs have not been found to manifest any anomalous properties. SCP-6943 and SCP-6944 Transcript Transcript of the conversation between SCP-6942, SCP-6943, and SCP-6944. Microphones and cameras are placed within the vehicle at the onset of the loop events. Superfluous dialogue redacted. Full transcript available in document 694K11. SCP-6943 Jake, I got the kid. Hurry up. SCP-6942 No, Daddy! Daddy, help! Weeping. SCP-6944 Kicking SCP-6941 Lang! Message for you. Nobody walks away. Gets into van. SCP-6943 You got the map? I don't know this area. SCP-6944 Yeah, hold on. There's one in the glove compartment. SCP-6943 begins to drive away from SCP-6941. SCP-6942 Daddy! SCP-6944 To SCP-6942 Kid, if you don't shut up, I'll give you something to f***ing cry about. SCP-6942 begins weeping more quietly. Superfluous dialogue redacted. SCP-6943 Which way do I go? SCP-6943 and 4 arrive at an intersection. SCP-6944 Go down street. SCP-6942 I want to go home! A sound of breaking glass is heard. SCP-6943 There's two streets that say that. Note, this has not been observed to be the case. SCP-6944 The f***? Just go left. SCP-6943 turns right. SCP-6944 I said left! SCP-6943 That was a one-way street, and there was a cop! Note, this has not been observed to be the case. SCP-6942 Dad. A sound of breaking glass is heard. SCP-6944 Kid! Shut the f*** up! Damn it! If you f***ing piss yourself, I- SCP-6943 There's another intersection up ahead. Which way do we go? SCP-6944 What? That's not what the map says. I- Damn it, let me see. We missed the turn off at so we should still be on We are on right? SCP-6943 Uh, the street signs say SCP-6944 What? We should be on the other side of F*** it. I'm calling in. Reaches under seat. Pulls out a cardboard flap with an intricate pattern drawn on it in chalk. Speaks to the pattern. This is Jake. We're lost. No. Lost. L-O-S- The f***ing street names are wrong. How should I know? No, that's not what you said. You said- No, look. The f***ing map's wrong. We keep getting turned around. How do we get out of here? SCP-6943 Jake! Jake! The stop sign just disappeared! SCP-6944 Shut up, Elwood! I'm talking to the- No, he said a sign disappeared, but- Okay, fine. No, look! Damn it! The stop sign's over there on the right! Don't be a dumbass! SCP-6942 I want my daddy! A sound of breaking glass is heard. SCP-6944 Shut up, damn it! No, no, I was talking to Lang's kid, I'm sorry, you know I'd never- Yes, okay, he- Elwood! The highway! Over there! On the right! Take the on-ramp! Turn, damn it! SCP-6943 Which right? The vehicle turns left. SCP-6942 I wanna go home! A sound of breaking glass is heard. 
SCP-6944 hits SCP-6943. What the fuck are you doing? I said go right. SCP-6943. I did go right. Note. Video surveillance indicates that SCP-6943 had, in fact, turned the steering wheel right. However, the vehicle went left. Superfluous dialogue redacted. SCP-6943 and SCP-6944 turn the corner and arrive at SCP-6941's residence, as SCP-6941 is emerging from his garage and loading his gun. SCP-6944. Wait. Is this Lang's house again? How did... Oh, shit, he's loose! SCP-6943 GUN! The rest of the conversation consists of SCP-6943 and SCP-6944 fleeing from SCP-6941 and his largely obscenities. After the terminus of the loop, 3 and 4's vehicle dematerializes and the recording device falls to the ground where it can be recovered. SCP-694 Testing Logs Testing Logs Testing Log 694.1 Description SCP-6943 and 4 are extracted at time index 21 minutes. Result SCP-6943 and 4 continue behaving as if they are within their vehicle and being pursued. Their vehicle drives itself while being pursued and falls into the ravine at time index 27 minutes 40 seconds. Because SCP-6943 and 4 do not fall into the ravine with their vehicle, they are not killed by the impact. However, they instantly lose consciousness, with electroencephalograms providing a null reading. After descending into the ravine, SCP-6941 fires two shots into the spaces where SCP-6943 and 4's heads would be. Testing Log 694.2 Description SCP-6941 is extracted at time index 20 minutes. Result Even when unarmed and restrained by Foundation personnel, SCP-6941 continues behaving as if he is within his vehicle and conducting an armed pursuit. His vehicle pursues after 3 and 4, with his pistols shooting autonomously at them until they fall into the ravine at time index 2740. The pistol then descends into the ravine autonomously, positioned exactly where it would be if SCP-6941 was carrying it. The front door to the minivan opens autonomously, and the pistol autonomously shoots the corpses of 3 and 4. The corpse of SCP-694-2 floats out of the back of the minivan in exactly the position where it would be if SCP-6941 was carrying it. At time index 38 minutes, the vehicles, cadavers, except for SCP-6941s, which is not within the loop, weapons, and ammunition all vanish. Testing Log 694-3 Description The minivan is destroyed with explosives at time index 4 minutes 45 seconds. Result. SCP-694-2, 3, and 4 position themselves in mid-air, where the minivan was, and drive away at the speed normally exhibited by the minivan. Non-loop objects placed inside the non-existent minivan are not carried along with it. Bullets fired by SCP-694-1 have been observed to react as if they were impacting a minivan, i.e. slowing and deforming at the times they enter the space where the minivan would be. At time index 27 minutes 40 seconds, SCP-694-2, 3, and 4 all hurl themselves into the ravine and are killed by the fall. Testing Log 694.4 Description SCP-694-2 is killed at time index 30 seconds. Result SCP-6941 continues speaking to SCP-6942's corpse, telling it to put away its toys so that they may go to the supermarket. Subsequently, SCP-6943 and 4 tie up the corpse, load it into their van, and drive away. SCP-6944 repeatedly chastises the corpse for making so much noise. Testing Log 694.5 
Description The minivan is destroyed with explosives at time index 27 minutes 10 seconds. Result SCP-694-1 ignores the burning remains of the minivan, parks his car, climbs down into the ravine, fires two shots into the spaces where SCP-694-3 and 4's heads would be, then positions his arms such that he could carry the body of a child out of the back seat of a minivan. Testing Log 694.6 .6. Description The ropes binding SCP-694-1 are cut at time index 7 minutes 30 seconds. Results SCP-694-1 continues to hold his arms behind his back, hops into the garage, and rubs his wrists against the hacksaw blade until time index 14 minutes 50 seconds, cutting himself severely. Cameras planted in SCP-6941's car indicate that by time index 23 minutes 10 seconds, he has lost consciousness, presumably due to blood loss. However, his car and pistol continue the pursuit autonomously as in test 694.2. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, Go watch SCP-693, Naughty Stalker, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.